We're here in Australia with the boys from Mighty Car Mods, and we're gonna see what they think of some of the sketchiest car mods we could find online. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> How's the car going backwards though? I like that someone's paid someone I hope at a shop and supported their local business by... Uh -huh. Oh God. <laughs> I'd like to officially introduce my dear good friend, Moog. Hey. What's up, Hey, doing, Jeremiah? It's good How to see you? you. Thank you for being on. We are well fueled with a Australian meat pie. Yep. I've taught him the tradie sauce secret. Yep. How do you do it? Ketchup on top, let it run down the pie, and then just gobble it up. That's it. But enough about your love life. Today we're reacting to videos. In Australia, that's not happening. Oh, really? No, absolutely not. You can't have any part of your wheel or tire hanging outside your guard, which is why some of the cars that we get into Australia, mm. uh, where you see the fender, they add these tiny little like rubber things that poke out a little bit. Oh. The whole function of those is so they can legally get around the tires not poking out further than the car. Okay, okay. Uh, that is uh, straight to jail, don't pass, go. Ah, oh, this hurts my feelings. Yeah. Is the problem the diff? Because that's the problem I'm seeing. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you could force all four to spin, you'd make it up, but. Oh man, that hurts oh, my God. feelings. Oh, dude. I am Marty, one half of Marty Car Mods. We've been making videos on YouTube for nearly 16 years, since the very beginning, and having a good time doing it. There's something about seeing a Subaru spinning wheels that just hurts my feelings. Unless yeah. it's doing a donut, I'm not really into right. it. If it's doing that, trying to pull into a driveway, it makes the car way less good at driving, which is what I like to do in cars. My attitude towards cars is they need to have some utility. If it's meant to look like then yes, <laughs> you did it. And is that a do yes or a do not? Oh, it's a do not. I a do not, that. okay, good. What the hell? <laughs> is that a Holden? Dude, that's a Commodore. On that's, scaffolding. That's interesting. <laughs> yep, that's a do yes from me. That's a Mighty Mod yes. Absolutely, see, that is utility. <laughs> no, it actually does exactly what it's meant to do. What, do what? What is that meant to do? Make your car drive high off the ground. <laughs> Don't you guys have an expression for this? I've seen some of this stuff at SEMA. Not a bulldozer, what's it called? A brodozer. A brodozer. Yeah. It's got a number plate on it. Surely that's not registrable. <laughs> well, it's more than 10 centimeters off the ground. What happens if you go on like 60 miles an hour and try and turn left? You flip. Yeah, well then <laughs> you die. Maybe that's the answer. It's yeah. interesting, you can see you've got brake lines hanging down. Yeah. Like you can just see them there and you've obviously got, you know, the diff that they've just sort of turned uh -huh. 90 degrees yeah. to Perfect point up. Check. I mean, the steering still works. You've got a steering knuckle there. It yeah. would have taken someone some time to do it. Definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, it's completely ridiculous, but yeah. good but on them. Fun. Yeah, I think it's fun. All right, a mighty car mod indeed. We interrupt this program to ask a very important question. How do you pronounce this? Hey, can you help me with something? Yeah, sure. How do you pronounce this word? Uh, Verdestin? Nope, it's Vredestein, and they're the name of today's sponsor. Hey, can you, can you answer a question? How do you pronounce this? Verdestin? No, wrong, it's Vredestein. They've been Europe's premier first class tire maker for over a century. Vredestein? Vredestein? Edestein. Yeah, it is Dean. From winter to all season and even all terrain, there's a Vredestein for every occasion. They feature state-of-the-art technology that ensures exceptional grip, precise handling, and shorter braking distances, even in challenging conditions. No matter how you say it, Vredestein is a name you can trust when it comes to your tires. And lucky for you, Vredestein is now available in North America, so upgrade your car today. To learn more, just click that link below. Vredestein. No, say it with me now. Vredestein. Okay. <laughs> There's a belt around the steering wheel mm -hmm. that is just bolted onto the floor with a couple of like local bolts. And then the pedal situation, oh, I like what this person has done. If it was like a school experiment, like a school, like your teacher says, let's do something that no one needs. Uh -huh. I don't understand why it exists. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm frightened by it. Kit is functional, minimal maintenance. <laughs> For you, because if it had maintenance. Oh, someone's uh, selling this? This is a pitch to buy this? You know, I keep hearing people say that over here, the, the steering wheel is on the correct side of the car. So I guess somebody really, really had to get it over there. I'm sure it works. We get some of your big like Silverados and uh -huh. Dodge Rams and stuff, but they're never, never made right hand right. drive. So we get companies in Australia that will convert them. Like they will like yeah. scan and mold the dash and then flip it and yeah. then remake. And actually do a full job and I have a yeah, pulley and but, a belt but hanging also, out. I wouldn't drive it. No. Would you drive it? No. no. No, and I mean, you lose a lot of safety features too. Then you have that like bracing in your lap, no airbag. Well, the <laughs> airbag shoots the like pulley three effect. Yeah, yeah. We'll go with a mighty car miss on that.
<laughs> Do you know what this is called? Uh, Claymore? No. <laughs> it's somewhere between a Claymore and a Vajazzle. <laughs> and if you need to look up Vajazzle, pause, new tab, Vajazzle, come back to us, be Maybe amazed. Incognito tab. Would that not tear you to shreds when it goes off? You got it. That's what I'm, I'm like, I'm worried about a thousand piranhas destroying my face. <laughs> yeah. Those are little ones, those are the dangerous ones because oh. then they can pierce the eye. For oh. me, a huge mighty car miss. Yeah, uh, and for me, a massive donut. What do we got? Okay, we got a bit of rake. My Lotus used to be set up just like this, actually. Uh -huh. It appears what they've done is left the stock suspension in the back, uh -huh. put some coilovers in the front. Wait, what's the wheel situation going at? Wait on. What, what's happening? The big, big honker in the back. I don't know. They but don't what's going on on the front? The front doesn't look like it's got any rubber on it. Is that just the rim? Is that what I'm seeing, or should I go to Specsavers? No, I think it's. I think it's. Smaller. It's just a smaller tire. It's just okay. tucked in there. So is this a style? Is this an American thing? Okay, so we. I've never seen this style, but there's an opposite style called the Carolina Squat. Here's what I'm thinking, right? This guy lives on a. He lives in a house where he's got to dump stuff off that's not flat. It's elevated, so he's got to back it up you, and he made it level. You know. You're a qualified. <laughs> what are you qualified in? Bulls that's coming back to my thing, utility and function. Yeah. He parks like this yep. and he's making it so he's got a flat load. Yep. Well done, Mighty Mods hit, like I said, well done. Good job, buddy. Here you go, brother. On to the next. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Bonus points for the soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he's got some, nope. he's got little 12 inches on there. Yeah. Um, totally outside the guards, totally illegal. Um, small for no reason that I can see why. Look, the creativity is putting just small wheels on your Nissan creative. I'm not sure. I don't think it looks as ridiculous as the Subaru that we just saw. I would agree. But I'm giving this like a six out of 10. Yeah. It's not five and it's not less and sure. I'm not bad. And it's it, not hurting anybody and you can still drive that thing yeah. safely. How badly would your speedo be at right now though? <laughs> pretty, I'm pretty doing 500 in 100 <laughs> time. <laughs> All right, so we're calling that a Mighty yeah, Car sure, Mod? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. To each their own. What exactly? Mighty Car Mod. Next clip, please. Get those. Audi. In your car. Grab this right here. Diverter valve sensor. Unplug it. Grab it. Next clip. You don't even get a comment. You get nothing. You get nothing. These things have electrically actuated blow off valves, right? So I guess if you disable it, you also get a really nice check engine light. But the thing yeah. is, you're already driving it out of your OVW. You've already got that anyway, so yeah. you're not even going to know. Yeah, it's already on. Audi people are very special kind of people, by the way. And I don't want to get into that. They're like Volkswagen owners who think they're better. Yeah. They're not. They're worse because they paid more. No, I love that sound. So it's a great you know sound. what? As much as this one really sits funny with me because it's like you're just getting yeah. check engine lights, I, I actually like the sound. I love I love the sound. That's Mighty Car Mid. Yeah. It is not a good idea, but it yeah. sounds really let's cool. Let's just see so. if the next one's any better, right? Yeah, let's All move right, on to the next it. clip. Oh, guys. This guy's wearing thongs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's rolling the fender. Yes, he is. Wow. It looks looks very thick, though, that pole he's using. Yeah, looks looks like way that. too thick. That's not rolling a fender. No, no. No, you just <laughs> up. Okay. <laughs> He's still going. Yeah. No, this is the point you stop. This is the point you go, no, we've made a mistake, but he's still got, no. Uh, oh. Oh, that, that, that's, like when, that's like a barrier oh. piece of steel that they like oh. drop in the ground. Can we just see again how oh, old, up. I, my old mate at the back runs around surprised. Look at this. Oh, oh no, what happened? Oh, no, that's not a surprise at all. No, miss, do not, miss, no. They're cheap anyway. You get these little hub on things, it. clamp it on. This is not a great hack, don't do this. I'm all for the DIY, obviously. Like, Me too. Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm not for the DI don't, and that's what that is. That's a DI don't. What am I hearing? What 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 are we what are we listening to right now? That's the the supercharger spinning. Yeah. Because this is a two part of this one here. The stuff that you installed, yeah. just utter shite. So just <laughs> four thumbs down. Yeah. But 
The fact that you did it mm -hmm. and you're all there and you're in the car, I'm seeing people smiling, I'm seeing people laughing. Okay, I'm not seeing anyone smiling or laughing, actually. <laughs> you see fear, you okay, see genuine fear. I, I see fear. genuine fear. Yeah. I really like that. This is so up my alley. You know what I love about this the most? There's four dudes in that car having a good time. This is not people taking too seriously. Right. Yeah. Because a lot of people get like faux full on about, oh, I spent half a million bucks on my car and it's the fastest, best yeah. thing ever made. This is just playing around with some yeah. tools and some gear and having Dudes fun. Dudes having fun with it's, cars. Which is good. All right, so uh, Mighty Car Mod? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, Mighty Car Mod. Do it, I mean, do it to a car you don't care that much about. And next clip, please. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's time. What happened with the heck with the jigsaw? You know, it just ran away from me, man. Show me again. Show me. <laughs> Run the clip. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> what do you think? So is this your doing? It wasn't me, mate. <laughs> I just saw it say, the jigsaw got away from me, man. <laughs> that wasn't me. You know, you can't it's... win them all. Um, but this has some similarities to your golf. Trying really hard, uh -huh. achieving is questionable. Yeah, yeah. If you give your mate a jigsaw, he's never used one before, or yeah. he's... You, know, or he... you can't get mad at him for letting him run a little while. Yeah. Well, I think that is <laughs> categorically a mighty car mod. Thank you. We'll through take that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, on to the next clip, please. My car was too quiet. MX-5. And a little Miata, I can get into that. No comment on the angle there, but. <laughs> She's just drilling holes in the muffler. Okay. <laughs> you cool. know what? We've all been there before, yeah. So what do you interpret that emoji to mean? The sound is what? Demonic. Demonic? Is that what it's supposed to sound like? Because it sounds like angry swarm of bees yeah, to me. Yeah, definitely. But not in the good way. All right, what do we got here? My car was too quiet. So I decided to drill some. So I decided to wear yoga pants, point my butt at the camera, and Swiss cheese. Yep, we've all done this. That sounds terrible. I know, it sounds bad. It sounds terrible. It sounds so bad. Um, this car is like instant access into JDM Fantasyland. Right, right. And I will just do dumb stuff to it yeah. and give a bad name to everyone else. Can't you get the same result drilling the airbox? Yeah, probably That's so. That's a thing. I haven't seen the muffler done before. I've seen the airbox done uh, before. Yeah, I have seen that done before. People looking for more power and a little bit more noise. Yeah. This is like a, a high school modification to me. You know, yeah. it's like if you have no money and you just are getting into tinkering and you're like, I want to make it sound louder what do i do yeah. have you done this i've never done this uh not I'm, to a, i've done it to a lot of things i haven't done it to a muffler no yeah i wouldn't uh i wouldn't recommend doing that and it doesn't even sound it didn't sound better it's oh no it sounded worse yeah. that's the thing a lot of people have this idea that like louder is better louder is not better <laughs> what would you prefer uh -huh. la, 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 or ah! next what do we got <laughs> roll baffle Absolutely. <laughs> Mighty Mods, yes. Absolutely. You're That's an my consistency. Nothing's making sense. This is fantastic. You know what? It cost them nothing. <laughs> they put it on the internet. Their car sounds great. <laughs> The creativity of things you can put on your exhaust pipe is endless. Yep. And this is experimentation. We got one of those turbo whistle things way uh -huh. back in the day uh -huh. and just shoved the turbo whistle up the back to see what it sounded like yep. on a Honda Civic. And it didn't sound good. Do you have the expression fart can here for exhaust? Yes. Well, there you go. It's a yeah. fart can. And in Australia, if you're defected for something like that, yep. you know what you do? You just pop it off. You just take it off. That's, That's the best it. modification I've seen this year. Get out of here. That is the best Get thing I've seen this here. year. Absolutely. No it's better than anything on your channel, my channel, or anyone else's. <laughs> yes. This is the equivalent of, of a BMX fantastic. bike with a playing card uh, in between. I love that. Listen, I'm trying to get a bead on you. I can't figure you out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I that's thought fantastic. you'd hate that. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I love that. Okay. I love that so much. All right. Oh, boy. Well, I kind of did this once. You did? <laughs> Zach, let's go. <laughs> This looks like a toy. How come it's not rolling? Is it just for show? Is it actually like on jacks or something? Or is this a thing that rolls around? It looks like it's supporting itself. You see it's kind of bowed in. You know what though? Apart from that, that car looks pretty cool. It looks neat. It looked like the exhaust was coming out the rear window though. Oh, what? Yeah, go back. Go back. Oh, wow. Yeah, I yeah. didn't even notice that. Man, so you, like if those observing. wheels were on there normal, that, this might be a sick oh, build. Yeah. But why do we have to have the wheels if we could just have the cool stuff? Where is the weakest link of this thing we're looking at here? Probably either where it's directly bolted 
bolted to the axle itself or you know the spacers themselves so you gotta think like a torque arm right the longer you go out fd is pushing down so yeah. a lot of that weight is getting kind of like bowed there right at the mount point for all those spacers or the spacers themselves and we're not seeing the car moving that's the other that's thing true. so it's like yeah. that should be a photo not a video yeah. really 350z already sound terrible sorry so you hear it coming and you go Ugh, what's that sound and then you see it Ugh. two cans on the end of each of those pipes there <laughs> like that then i would have given you two thumbs up yeah. no can no yes oh <laughs> Manual boost controller. <laughs> Manual boost control on a Manual boost leak. This is to turn the boost down? Yeah, I guess. That's on a cold pipe or a hot pipe or something? Oh yeah, it's the outlet of the turbo. Yeah. Um, um I'm sure it's gonna run great. I'm sure it's gonna sound great. What's going on here? What has he got a, a screw in one of the hoses? Oh, is, that, is that his intake hose? Oh, charge pipe going to the intercooler? So that's the pressure side, so that's bleeding off boost. So what he's saying is, hey, if I loosen it up, something's gonna escape, I'm not gonna make as much boost. But why would you do that there though? That's the, <laughs> like, that's not that clever, you know what I mean? Like it's like, th that looks like one of these things that's just done to try and make a couple of really big automotive YouTube channels <laughs> talk about it. I would just think that screw would just go boom. Unless he's engineered the other side of it somehow. Like oh. he's taken that off and he's got a special captive. Nah. Do you think like this that. guy did that? No way. Absolutely not. He just, took yeah. a, he just took a wood screw and punched it in there. <laughs> he saw an opportunity to troll people. Hey, you didn't get us. We Unfortunately, figured. no one's gonna see it. <laughs> What am I looking for? Connect the wires and then crank? That to max. What am I looking at though? I don't know what. He's got a some sort of a guitar knob on here. I'm starting to decode. There's an engine flapping around. There's a pod filter, motor. Oh, is it like a D? No, this is a diesel golf. I see. So is he just cranking up the fuel? All right. Oh, okay, we're coal rolling. Yeah, baby. All right, I see what's going on here now. I don't like anything about that. <laughs> There's nothing about that I like. Replace yeah. that flap with a can and we're talking. <laughs> I mean, that's a obviously a diesel. He's just crank, making it, turning it up. I don't know what he's doing, but he's got a diesel and he's just, I guess he's just, he's just flooding it and then yeah. blasting it. That's a no. And this, I got, but to be honest, I kind of like the little pipe on the back. Never run fake steering wheel, friend. Oh. Uh, what I like about this is this is like, there's a saw on my scrotum asking for a friend. We didn't need to add friend's car in there. This is your car. Look at his fingernails. Is it, hold on. That's a girl. Are you sure? Yeah. She's strong. Never run fake steering wheel. Yeah, so a lot of cheap steering wheels are not very sturdy and they will bend immediately. Yeah. Well, so we've gotten a bunch of these off of wish.com. Push, push, push. Oh yeah! Good lord! They are made out of soda can aluminum. Yep, okay. Super thin. The only place for soda can aluminum <laughs> is on your exhaust pipe. <laughs> I don't know if you'd be allowed to sell that in Australia. So in Australia, we've got really full on laws about uh, things being fit for purpose. Uh -huh. You could probably buy it from overseas or something. No Australian company could make a thing like that and sell it. It would be illegal. For hey that man, time. do you want to throw that on your car in the States free and go for it? Well, hey, Marty, thank you so much for letting us come shoot in your studio and uh, being on this episode of Real Mechanic Stuff. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get all the notifications when we drop videos. These guys are legends. Mighty Car Mod certified.